listening to the music and they gonna take your leaves and build a case and try to use it. You mean Guado? Saying fuck 63rd. Me and Vaughn. Yeah. This video of this? Google it. No, no, I ain't having a head lock. Oh, yeah. But I'm telling like, he was saying what for saying fuck 63rd. Fuck that, come on, right now. See y'all. 63rd. That's how we coming. I'm coming up. You know, we on 64. Oh, yeah. Sly for Vaughn, right? Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of. Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, they who died? You can't say that no more. Oh, because of FBG Cash? Oh, who? Nah, because Lil' Pop. Yeah, yeah, because uh, shit, you just came home uh, not too long ago. Like, when you come home? So I've been home a little bit over a year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit over a year. Yeah, yeah. 12 years flat. 12 years? About 12 years. Did my time. Ain't told on nobody. All right. Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. As you guys know, five members from OTF was picked up in the murder of Lil Pub, Rondo Rondo cousin. Rondo Rondo was literally in the vehicle. You guys know the history. Rondo Rondo, King Von, NBA Young Boy, Lil Dirk. You guys know the history. However, and be a young boy on house arrest. Been on house arrest for seem like forever. Quando Rondo literally had seen that come close to his doorsteps in the same vehicle with him. King Vine no longer here. Ultimately, the dirt in prison. There are no winners in this situation. There are no winners. You see, this shows the youth that there's no such thing as friends. The streets don't have no rules. Lil Dirt, Putnam, did 12 years, came home. Dirt gave him $50,000 a car and he had a home. And the entire time, he wore a wire. You see, in the streets, your friend, your best friend, who you grew up with, will take your life, literally, putting you in prison or putting you in the ground. In this situation right here, it applied to both. When you go to jail and you get football numbers, most will tell you that's just like that because you'll never ever see the streets no more. I hope this situation, the youth can look at it and reflect and be like, you know what? I don't want that lifestyle because there is no success coming from the streets. Even the biggest of the biggest drug dealers, when they got football numbers, they came home and they told. You see, everybody is talking about paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. A plea deal is exactly what it is. It's a deal to plead. You can still do 10 years, but within your plea deal, the entire time while you was locked up, your so-called friends was getting arrested because why? You was giving them people information. There is no such thing as friends. In this Lil Dirt situation, it proves it. I mean, Lil Dirt have paper, family well taken care of. But at the end of the day, the decisions that you make or the decisions that people make around you can affect you. And this is what transpires. There are no rules to the streets. In every video, when I'm telling you people, life events and real life situations, I'ma always make sure I let you know the streets don't have no rules. Salute. Well.